Uh, this is going to be an example of how to write an equation of perpendicular lines. Uh, the first thing you need to know is that a line is the basic form, slope and intercept form, which is y equals m x plus b. m is, uh, stands for your slope or your rise over run, and uh, b is your y intercept or where the line crosses the y axis. So um, you should always remember that parallel lines have the same slope, which means they never intersect, um, while perpendicular lines um, have a negative reciprocal sl slope or opposite reciprocal. Um, their slopes basically it means that it crosses at a 90 degree angle. So for example if you were going up 2 over 3 you would go down 3 over 2 or in this case if you went down 3 over 4 you would then do up 4 over 3. So it's just the the opposite reciprocal of whatever it was. So in this particular problem um, again it's a long word problem. First thing you should always do is draw a picture um, and make a sketch of what you've got. So we're going to go ahead and plot the points. So we've got A, which is at 5, negative 3, so you've got to go over 5, down 3, and B, which is negative 1, negative 5. Make sure when you plot both of these points, always label the, the letter and the coordinate. This helps you reduce errors, and also it's very useful for when you're finding the rise and run. Alright, so we've got our first segment, and it says that um, it's going to be, this is a segment, so you'll connect them with a line or so. And we want a perpendicular bisect. So remember, bisect means cut in half. So it's going to be um, intersecting in the middle of those two, and it's going to be a right angle. So we got some sort of a line there that we're looking for. Again, that's the equation we're trying to find. Well, the first thing we're going to need to do is find the midpoint, because again, it's going through the middle. Um, now, in order to find the midpoint, um, you're also going to want to find the slope because they're used simultaneously. So in this case we're going to look for the slope. Uh, we're going up, so we're going from a height of negative 5 up to a height of negative 3. So from negative 5 to negative 3 went up 2, so it's says positive 2. And then we went over from negative 1 to positive 5, that's a total of 6 spots. So our slope is 2 over 6 or 1 third. Um, now if you're doing the, the, the slope of the perpendicular line, which is going to be the negative reciprocal, um, you're going to have to flip it and make it negative. So instead of going up 1 over 3, the other line is going to be going down 3 over 1. As you can see, it's going to be sloped that way. And that will make a 90 degree angle. Um, so I guess now we're going to find the midpoint because, again, first you find the slope and now we need our y-intercept. Well, in order to figure out the y-intercept, we need a point that's actually on the line we're looking for. So we couldn't use A or B because A or B aren't on the perpendicular line. They're just on the, the regular line. We need the perpendicular line. So uh, midpoint, um, and again, I encourage you to watch the midpoint video if you get a chance. Uh, but the midpoint formula is just the average of the x's and the average of the y's. So if you go up 2 over 6, half of that would be up 1 over 3. So we find our midpoint is 2 comma 4. So that is a point that's on our correct line, which is our perpendicular line. So we're going to plug in y is negative 4 and x is positive 2. So you'll multiply it out, um, and we end up getting negative 4 equals negative 6 plus b, opposite of negative 6 is plus 6, and you'll get the y-intercept is 2. Okay. So now we have all the pieces of our, our, our line. We have the slope of the perpendicular line and the y-intercept. So the final step is to actually write an equation, y equals m x plus b, where you've plugged in our, our correct values. So we plug in the slope of the perpendicular line, which is negative 3 over 1, and our y intercept, which is 2. Now visually, you should check it to make sure it looks about right. So if you look at that line, see our red line, if it extended upwards, see it would run into 2. So that, that looks pretty good. And the slope, it's going down 3 and over 1. And it all checks out.